Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Do you know how the moon was formed? Well, there are a lot of theories. 70s to 80s, a lot of people debated as to how the moon was formed. Today, I'm going to explain two theories and one theory that is supported by most astronomers. The first theory is called the fission theory. This theory proposed that the moon was once part of the earth and somehow was separated from the earth in the history of the solar system. The theory was thought possible because the moon's composition resembles that of the earth matter, and the earth rapidly spinning could have sent off the moon up from its outer layer. But this theory was discontinued because there is no real proof of the earth rapidly spinning. Another theory is the capture theory suggested that the moon was formed somewhere in the solar system and was later captured by the Earth's gravitational pull. This theory explained the reason why the moon have a slightly different chemical than Earth, but was later rejected because the amount of gravity that needs to slow down the moon is improbable. Something would have to slow it down at just the right time and the right moment to position it into Earth orbit. Now, I have tell you about two discontinued theories. And now, I will tell you about the theory that is supported by most astronomers. It is called the Giant Impactor Theory or the Ejected Ring Theory. The basic idea of this theory is that about 4.45 billion years ago, when Earth was still in molten rock, experienced an impact with another planetary body, roughly the mass of Mars, that was formed nearby with an orbit places it on a collision course with Earth. When young Earth and rock body collided, energy of 100 million times greater than the meteor crash that have wiped the dinosaurs. The rock body was destroyed and what was left was the debris and the earth outer layer vaporized. Some debris would later get picked up by the earth orbit and would form into our one and only moon.